I would like to do a thing, if you don't mind, about bullying on the radio. Anybody ever heard someone bullying them on the radio? Ever been bullied on the radio? Have you? Ever been bullied on the radio? Are you speaking out of turn? I won't have that. Do you know what I mean by bullying on the radio? Being bullied. How does it feel when you're bullied? Yeah, it doesn't feel too good, does it, when you've been bullied? So why would, uh, I mean, put it this way, we're on air, we're meant to be uh, friends, right? With the person we're talking to. By the way, we're going to take a little five minutes leg stretch in a second, because I can see I'm getting a bit, whatever, but uh, we're meant to be friends with the person. We don't boss our friends around. We don't disregard how they feel about things. We generally don't bully them. We try to be nice to them, because they're our friends. We want, we want to hang on to them. On the radio, for some reason, not everybody, but a lot of people become bullies. We start bullying. Stay right there. Don't move. What's that all about? Imagine, again, I love the analogy of walking into your friend's house or they walk into your house. Hey, how you doing? Sit down. Don't move. I'll be back with tea. Do not move. You're like, what? And that's what they're doing. You, you, if you bloody dare, I'll tell you what, there'll be trouble. I'll be over to your house if you change this radio station. There'll be a lot of trouble. A person has the choice to listen to you or not to listen to you. And if they want to, they will make that choice. The only way they'll make that choice is by you making it worth their while. Not by being told to do it. Not by being told, you stay there and you listen to me, otherwise. Oh, you know? And, and it's very easy to do. And it's just another cliche, again, that we all fall back on. Not all of us, but we can't... The, when it the times you fall back on cliches and bullying and crutches are when you're panicked. When you've just suddenly, you're, you're, the mic is on, red light's there, songs fade out, you've got your link all set to go, you didn't write it down because you know where you're going and then, what oh, the hell was I going to say? Oh Christ, uh, whoa, brain work, where, hello? And then you, you panic and you go, yes of course, great to be with you this afternoon, uh, stay right there because I'll be here till six and you're, you're padding, 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 using this crutch to get you and get me where I'm going. And eventually you get to where you're going so you throw the crutches away, all right, I'm here. That was pretty scary. We've all done it, right? You just blank out on the air. You have no idea what you're saying. And that's where bullying comes in. And I hate to say it because he's a great jock, but it's in you. If, you. if you say words like that, then they're part of your personality. You do need to be telling people what to do. And again, from what I was saying earlier on, you've got to look at why. Why do I need to tell people what to do? What is it about me that makes me want to do this? And I know soul searching is not everybody's cup of tea. But if you look at yourself, and think about yourself a bit, you'll find out why you're doing all these things on air. And it'll make you a better presenter by not doing these things on air, just being honest. If you are a bully, that's great. There's a lot of on-air guys doing talk radio who are bullies. You know, and that's, that's how they, they make their living. If that's their honest personality. But when, I don't think, personally, I don't think it has a place on music radio. 